Hello, this is an illustration using Blender Grease Pencil. It's a color piece uh, with some figures in it and a landscape background. And I used the Blender Grease Pencil Build Modifier uh, to make kind of like a speed paint video. Um, right now I have zoomed into the back, the background and we're starting with the, the far background and you can see it's slowly coming together with the mountains and the clouds and then a little stream with a boat is coming in. Um, and this piece is inspired by the short story The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. Uh, so, so the main uh, figure in the front is Ichabod Crane and uh, his love interest Katrina. Um, and uh, Sleepy Hollow was published in 1820 and the illustration that I used for this piece was by F.O.C. Darling uh, from the 1850 edition of the story. I did make some modifications to the FOC Darling illustration, in particular the hand uh, of Ichabod Crane I swapped out with another hand from one of the other illustrations in the piece, and also I slightly modified Katrina. She had something in her hand like she was, uh, you know, had a, a, like a long blade of grass or something in her mouth, and I, I removed that. So, so the primary purpose of this exercise, I wanted to experiment with color, and I'm, I'm relatively satisfied with the outcome. Um, also, I wanted to mention, you know, uh, before recording this video, I went back and read The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I don't know if I've ever read it before. You know, I, I grew up, you know, I did see the cartoon movie when I was younger, and that greatly influenced my thinking uh, of the piece or my memory of the piece. It was interesting reading it. There was a couple things I noted. One, uh, it, it mentions the Salem Witch Trials uh, and how Ichabod Crane was very interested in the Salem Witch Trials. So, so I, I found that to be kind of interesting. And then, too, the, the uh, other thing that I found really interesting is Ichabod Crane isn't very much of a likable figure, and he's not really a hero, I would say. He's more kind of just... Uh, the, the, the whole story is really him trying to uh, romance this uh, wealthy farmer's daughter, and he's unsuccessful, and then he kind of gets chased out of town. Um, and... You can see that, uh, you, you know, one interpretation is that he was chased out by this supernatural ghost figure, this headless horseman. Um, but there's also a, a possible other explanation that's hinted at with basically being his uh, rival, uh, the kind of like uh, a local man who, who also was pursuing the same uh, character, Katrina, that he might have had something to do with it or dressed up and kind of run Ichabod out of town. So now you can see the colors coming in. Um, there, there's the background color. And also an interesting feature is right here on the, the back left behind the tree by that little uh, house, there seems to be like a, a another character who's kind of observing this, um, you, you know, she's kind of spying on the characters in the foreground. So I thought that was kind of an interesting little story to the still image. Um, another thing I wanted to mention in, in reading uh, the piece was, you know, unfortunately there's some blatant racism uh, in the story. You know, there's multiple sections that, that are just straight up racist. And, you know, that, that's always unfortunate and I always struggle with how to deal with that uh, in modern times. And, and, you know, on the one hand we could leave that uh, as the original and kind of keep that lesson in place and just add commentary. Um, but one of my interests is to take public domain works and public domain works, you know, there's no copyright and anyone's free to um, use them even for commercial purposes. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking a copyright short story or excuse me, a public domain short story and also an, an original illustration that uh, is also in the public domain. Um, uh, and, and I'm doing my own uh, version of that. Uh, so the question is, do I modify or change the, uh, the piece to remove the racist, um, you, you know, the racist portions of the work? And, and it's an interesting question, and I'm going to keep um, uh, thinking about it. And kind of what I'm leaning towards right now is to flip it around and, and take you know, to modify it and change it and, and apply the same kind of um, intent 
but put it in a different context, either a modern context or maybe perhaps even an entirely different context. Um, but anyway, uh, th there's the piece. Uh, again, Blender Grease Pencil. I've been doing a lot of different work in Blender Grease Pencil. There's a, several open source animation programs. And Blender Grease Pencil is really um, one of the more complicated ones, but, but I really do enjoy it. And, um, uh, you know, if you're interested to learn more, I can put up other videos of kind of about how this process was done. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you later.